And welcome back to Odd West Virginia, where we're taking another look at the Whitaker family. This time, we're going to be looking at a brand new character, one that was introduced by Mark and his soft white underbelly team early in the YouTube series about the Whitakers. Now, today we're going to learn about Jason, the cousin of the Whitakers, and we, we're going to talk about his background and take a look at it and see what his real motives are being here in Odd West Virginia. So what do we know about Jason? Well, we know he was first introduced in one of the early series as being someone who was in prison, uh, but there was not a lot of, of information about him. And out of the blue, um, Mark and his team uh, discovered him and found him in Odd West Virginia. So let's uh, take a look at him and get to know him a little bit better so that we can properly determine what his real motives are here in, in the, uh, the Whitaker family. All right, Jason. Jason, uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Crystal Lake, Illinois. Where's that? Crystal Lake, Illinois. Crystal Lake. Tell me about your family. You, uh, you're, you're related to the Whitaker. Yes, my dad's uh, the brother. Your dad's the brother of their father. Yeah. I see. You describe your childhood? I assume uh, it was different than this one, growing up in Crystal Lake. Yeah, I grew Lake. up in Illinois. You know, so first cousins. Different the lifestyle Whitakers. there. Um, went to Crystal Lake High School, Central High School. Uh, you graduate? No, I got my GED, though. Yeah. Would you guys come down and visit? Yeah, we came to visit every year, come down and visit and everything. What memories do you have of visiting the Whitakers when you were a kid? Uh... Not really <laughs> visiting them, but we come down and we, we stop and talk to them all the time. No, so it was more of just a. What were your thoughts on it? Because certainly it's unusual. On the way somewhere yeah, it's else. unusual, but they're not just like everybody else. Yeah, nice as can be. Yeah, they'll get their shit off the back for you. Yeah, real oh, that's friendly true. and everything. No, they, they are good people. Right. How old are you now? I'm 44. 44. Yeah. And uh, after school, what kind of stuff were you doing? Were you working? No, I was working in the factories. Doing, uh, making drill bits, uh, working in several factory jobs. You got in trouble with the law? Yeah. Quite a few times. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of stuff you get in trouble for? Uh, I went to prison for uh, aggravated battery and mob action when I was 17. Wow. This is in uh, Illinois? In Illinois. At 17. How much time have you done? Uh, altogether, probably about 15 years. 15 years. Different, different offenses. Different offenses. Yeah. So he wasn't in prison the entire time. Yeah, three so kids. He's three been kids. in and out of prison. No, uh, my two daughters are in Wisconsin, Jessica and Julie. I got four grandkids by them. Uh, four grandkids. Wow. You uh, you just got you just got out of jail recently, right? Yeah. You um. Where, where do you, where do you think you'll settle down here in West Virginia or? Probably not. I'm thinking about going to Wisconsin, and be closer to my kids. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Hopefully he can have a good relationship with uh, what is your the take grandkids on, on the Whitaker family. I mean, you, you you know them. I love them to death. They're great people. Uh, they'll help anybody if they can. Yep. Yeah, they're 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 what are, are you doing in North West Virginia then? Yeah. Because you've got some of the most salt of the earth people you'll ever meet. Mm -hmm. Looking for a mixed in out, with maybe people that are into drugs and yeah, you know, a lot of crime and a lot of stuff going on. Have, have drugs been a part of your life? Yes, they have. What, 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 when did that start? Uh, probably when I was about 14 years old. Wow. What a and life. You, uh, 14. You, you continue with that or? You... No, I've quit the drugs. I'm going, going through a boxing clinic now. Oh, you are? So you were using what? Heroin and uh, ice, meth. So, yeah. Which so is really popular out here. Yeah. Just been it's, off. You can find it easy around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the epidemic in the mountains of Appalachia. Here in, uh, West Virginia? Crazy yeah. mess. Yeah, you can you can find trouble if you look for it. Did you get in trouble here as well, or just Illinois? Here too. Here too. Yeah. I'd be interested. What's your biggest to know regret in your life? What he's doing? Uh, going to prison the second time. It was for uh, uh, sexual assault on a minor. Hmm. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Uh, at the time, I didn't know she was underage. I was 20 years old, and 
Mm. At the time, I was on doing drugs. Everybody around me was doing drugs. I met her through friends that was on drugs and everything. She told you she was how old? Four, she told me she was 18, but mm. I guess she wasn't. She was how old? 14. 14. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that'll but, get you some prison time, right? That's... Yes. And now you're a sex offender? Yes. You have to deal with that. That's a drag. Uh, what a uh, interesting character to be introduced. Biggest mistake of my life. Yeah. What do you think of this part of the country? It seems like drugs are just rampant here. Yeah. Everybody's on them. Yeah. That's true. This family stays clear of them. Yeah. Yeah. They, they haven't even, they've never, don't even drink alcohol. I mean, look at the yeah. juxtaposition of someone who's, you ever consider living here? Has some intelligence. Sometimes, and the trouble that he not. gets in. It's just hard to find work you around here. The Whitakers and. Yeah. That's the hard part here for yeah. everybody. It's a tough, tough lot. What's your biggest fear now? Losing my family. Yeah. The drugs aren't going to help that. Nah, associates. You have friends. No, he's got associates. No Just... one really want to call friends. Right. Associates. And everybody I know is on drugs, and where I'm trying to stay clean, it's harder for me to stay clean with everybody around me on them. Is it harder for you to stay clean out here in West Virginia or in Illinois? It's, Even hard, it's harder to stay off the drugs here. Well, then why are you here? Everybody's using, everybody's using them. Uh, that's the question. Yeah, so. you, if you don't want to be using, why are you here? Unless you're memory? just going to be yeah. milking off of the when Whitakers. My daughter was born. Yeah. My two girls. I don't mean to be my life was so harsh. Born. But... You talk to them still? Yeah. I talk to my oldest daughter, Jessica, still. My youngest daughter, she really doesn't have much to do with me. Right. Maybe you can fix that. I'm hoping I can. Yeah. What's What's your viewpoint on him? What's uh, yeah, your initial viewpoint? Let me know in the yeah. comments yeah. what your, your yeah, thoughts are on like that. They're good girls. Jason. They're good girls. So you remember growing up with, with Ray and Freddie and... Yeah, and Timmy, whole... Lorraine, all of them. Yeah. What was it like? As, what were they like as kids? Ray was a very different person. 15, 20 years ago, right? Yeah. He was always with uh, Freddie. I remember him and Freddie always together. Would have been great to have seen yeah, Freddie. Freddie was very similar action. to what Ray is now. Mm -hmm. But Ray was a. We've got the, the still images yeah. and the yeah, stories, but it would have been great to have captured him. The first time I tried to photograph him, it was probably 2004, something like that. He. Uh, I would love to see Ray and Freddie interacting. I asked interacting. him to sit with, his, with Timmy and. and, and ready for a photo and he stood right in front of the lens two inches away from the lens and i asked him no if you could stand back with your brothers and he just screamed his pants went falling around his ankles and he went and kicked a, a metal garbage can with his pants falling around his ankles he still does that <laughs> he just still does yeah he still throws his bit yeah i haven't seen him lately do that but i remember that and he would do it over and over again i'm like i'll never get this guy to stand for a photo mm -hmm. and eventually he did but he's such a lovable dude mm -hmm. freddie or ray Ray. Ray, yeah. Well, Freddie was too. Yeah. yeah Both of them were. Cool. They were all to get How can you together. not love yeah, Ray? They looked the same too. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think is going on with this family? Is it genetic? Is it is it because the the parents were because I, I guess the is it the grandfathers that were twin brothers? I think so. I'm not really for sure about that. Yeah, it's, it's 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 confusing, but the, yeah. you know, if somebody does the homework on the genetics, which there is a video on YouTube talking about this. It gets very convoluted. Yeah. And because there are twin brothers. I've seen that video. That are both. Wow. It's a real mess. Grandparents, I think, of, of this chain of of offspring. Yeah. I think it gets very complicated. I just yeah. look at them as they're just mental. They're just mentally challenged. Yeah. yeah. I don't do, see do you them. think it could be environmental or do you think it's something that they inherited from the. Because because I think they inherited a, probably they inherited you think because there were there were quite a few offspring how many like fifteen kids fourteen kids pretty 14, obvious 15, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah a lot of them had the same similar, similar yeah. problem you you would think somewhere along the line they'd catch on and say hey maybe we shouldn't have so many kids yeah probably been the best bet yeah what do you what do you see for your future what do you, what would you like to be doing I'd like years? to give me a job and give me a place of my own. Now, hopefully he gets cleaned up. Always want yeah. to look at the positive like side and hope, yeah. hope people young. can change yeah. their lives. He's got grandkids to, to help. What emotions do you go through now? Hopefully are, you, are you angry about what happened to you? Or are you make his life better. Or what kind of stuff do you go through? Angry at what I did. 
Thank you yourself. Yeah. 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 You can hear Ray in the background. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> He's sitting in prison thinking about Jason's being interviewed. Rage, you can hear Ray coughing and talking it's and not making noises in the background. Yeah. But then drugs change your, yeah. alter your mental state and I love it. make stuff like that more likely, right? Yeah. But, you know, I should have known better. Yeah. If I would have known her age, nothing would have ever happened. Mm. And I regret that to this day. Because of that, I've ruined my, my life is ruined because of it. Mm. Nobody understands, you know. It just happened. I wasn't preying on nobody. And Jason, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? Uh, I was at the age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do, do, you, do you think prison rehabilitates? No, I don't. At all? No. They just throw you in there and you're on your own. You do what you got to do to survive. Yeah, life, could, life has a way of rehabil rehabilitating. Yeah, yeah. mellow with age and yeah. I used, to be, used to be crazy wild when I was younger. But I've calmed down. Yeah, Just trying to live life now to its fullest. Give me, give me an example of what your typical behavior was when yeah. you were a twenty year old. Twenty years old, I was ready to fight anybody and everybody. You threatened to pull a gun on, we, on me once. Yeah, <laughs> I wow. no, I don't remember that. <laughs> Yeah, it's just protecting my family. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's just I didn't know who you was or what your what he, meanings were. The, again, family, what's so, he doing in Hot West do Virginia with no, I'm, cousins I'm, I'm, I'm that he's not fit in here? He didn't I'm, grow I'm up with. Slicker. He grew yeah, up in yeah, Illinois. It's a weird part of the country with all my equipment. Like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Maybe on the, uh, the government the neighborhood. You don't the government gravy show up unannounced. No, you don't. I do, but yeah, most people don't. All right, Jason, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you. I wish you lots of luck now that you're free. All right, thank you. All right, thanks. Okay, so that's that's Jason in a nutshell. Let me know what you think about Jason in the comments below. Um, I, I, maybe we do a follow-up video on some of the comments. I've, um, I hope he can Im improve his, his life. He get out of prison. Um, hopefully, he can make the relationship with his daughters better, granddaughters. Um, but he he said it's more difficult living in in West Virginia because of the the drug problems there. Then why why are you there? Um, I think that's my question. What's he doing with the family? As we've seen before, other family members are much closer uh, to the family now. Maybe Jason's been part of their life, uh, you know, as part of his adult life. Uh, again, I've, I've had comments where people have asked, has the government providing money to the Whitakers? I would imagine so. And so maybe it was part of the, the government gravy train uh that that tends to bring family members like that together all families have similar individuals mine as well have uh had similar instances and, and issues so let me know what you think below um please uh, please do give me some comments uh, i'd love to interact with you about jason but want to thank you for the time and i look forward to seeing you on the next episode so have a great one bye-bye